What's up everyone, today is Monday, June 29th at 8.09 a.m. I'm gonna do a video watch list today. Uh, so for those that don't know, I do a free video watch list every single Monday for the viewers on YouTube, and then every day or every other day, I do it for MIC members. So a couple things I wanna talk about before we get started is today's my last day trading. Uh, I'm gonna go on vacation tomorrow. I'm gonna take a road trip with my dad uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday. Gonna come back uh, Thursday, gonna rest on Friday, and then celebrate 4th of July on Saturday. Keep in mind that the market is closed on Friday uh, in observance of 4th of July on Saturday. I don't really know how that works, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so that's one, so today's gonna be my last day trading. After that, uh, I'm not gonna be around for PMs, not gonna be around for anything, gonna turn my phone off, gonna do the whole nine yards. Uh, this is kind of the first time that I'm taking vacation in like five months, so I'm kind of excited. Um, yeah, so let's get started, right? So um, I know this is a stock that trapped a lot of short sellers. Uh, it was a potential first red day setup. Uh, last Friday, it conformed to the chart. It went red and then kind of went all the way back down and then it rebounded. Um, in a perfect world, what I see on this is again, I'm drawing my lines. I see a 32 line, right? I see a 33.50 and I see 34. Right, so anything above like call it 35 bucks is a get out of there, do not mess around anything. So, I'm looking to kind of short these lines, and if the stock goes red again, I'm planning to add to that. So, 30% on the way up, if it conforms and goes red, we could add our full size. Again, this is very short crowded, so this is, has to be a nail and bail only. CTXR, this was one of the hot chicks on Friday, kind of gave back the entire move. If you look right here, we have the half dollar mark 150 that conforms to the chart. We have some 160s and I see some in the call, call 180, 190-ish level. So in the morning, hopefully we get a pop towards here and again, above Friday's high is going to be the stop here. So hopefully we get a pop towards 150 to short this thing. VXRT, um, this was a crazy one. They released a PR uh, pre-market, jammed everyone up, and then I think a chat room came and was buying the breakout of 14th, the 7th, the 15th. Not sure what they were thinking. Um, and it kind of just started to pull back all day, unwound, and then just ramped up uh, after hours and ramped up today. Uh, if you just keep this very simple, if this is a low-hanging fruit, this is a stock that is kind of broken, that is bouncing. The problem about this is it has very pumpable news. I think it has coronavirus news, coronavirus cases are coming back. So again, because it has very pumpable news, we cannot overstay our welcome on this. So if you look at this, you see $10 is a very clear resistance level. If you just draw a line, right? Previous support becomes resistance with so 10. And again, on this one, I'm just trying to use the whole and half dollar marks. So 10, 1050, and oops. 10, 10.50, and $11 in the morning. Again, 30% size, so 10% 10, 10% 10.50, 10% 10, 10, 10 11, and then if it breaks and rebounds, we will short that bounce. Um, EKSO is over here. Um, hopefully, it kind of just tanked on Friday, so hopefully we got to pop towards nine bucks or pop towards red to green to short this one. Um, B. BHTG, this is kind of a potential hot chick of the day. Um, what I see is I see a resistance towards 350. Uh, I see some towards 355s, and then obviously you have some at 370. So in my opinion, you could short the bounce here, 350, 370, with a kind of 380 stop. Uh, this might be a potential chat room pump, so keep that on watch. Ideally, something like this breaks under this support level, right? Breaks under three and then we'll short the rebound. CBLI is already really broken, so I don't really wanna mess around. I see the outer line, so again, whole and half dollar marks, 350 and $4, that's what I'm kinda of watching. Also, uh, one last thing to note of is tomorrow is our last day before we raise the price of Lifetime. Our Lifetime membership is going to be raised by $1,000 starting on Wednesday. Uh, and we are no longer going to offer the accelerated course with the annual membership. So if you want the accelerated course, it's gonna be a separate charge of $14.97. We're running a promotion now where if you sign up for annual, you're gonna get the course for free. So hit up Tosh at 
or DM him in, NM in MIC and it'll help you guys. So thank you guys for coming. And today's secret word is gonna be road trip. So I will see you guys today for the YouTube live and then I will see you next week.